So this brings me to one of the easiest loops in all of Dead by Daylight, the escalators. We call it the escalators because of one crazy game we had where we had three survivors throwing in the basement and the killer hooked two and left one slugged when I came down to investigate and left the last one slugged to try to get me and get the 4K and then got ran up and down in these escalators for four minutes while they bled out and then got the hatch. I like the, uh, I haven't even like noticed this, but I like how it sounds as well because I can like hear... <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day. I don't know if you guys ever watched Scrubs. And you know when you hear that, like, gong? And whenever, like, the other one, JD and Turk, whenever the one hears it, they like, what the fuck is going on over there? All right. Oh, I see where this is going. <laughs> Let's play a nice wholesome game of eels and escalators. Escalators! <laughs> eels! Pre drop this because I am basically solo now. Escalators, escalators, escalators. Escalators! Up, up, up! Eels! Yeah, I'm still gonna make that. Probably will still make this, right? Escalators! Escalators! Practice. This is an interesting setup. Heels again. Mm, yes. Hello. Okay, he is coming this way. Escalators! Practice. So crawl up the f stairs. Boo! Escalators! Surprise, motherfucker! It became personal with me. <laughs> oh. I'll give you one last chance to crawl up these. F I'm just here so I won't get fined. Gotta ride the eel. No. Oops, I went too wide. My pathing's off. I am not warm. This is Sag. Who are you calling Pinhead? Practice. Go the weird way. I had to turn and go a different way. So he would probably guess wrong on which way it went. Yes! It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, now! Oh, no! I tried to loop too tight. Eels again. Yes. We got the jukes though. Come on. Eels. Oh yes. Let's go, Eels. I don't play that man. Escalators, escalators, escalators. Practice. Oh, you almost had it. Nope. You gotta be quicker than that. Oh my god. Bruh. There you go, you motherfucker. If you get eels again, you lose! No, it's right there! Yes! Woo! Woo! Let's f go! Yeah, I think I'm warm now. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new looping guide. Make sure you go follow on Twitch as well. I stream multiple nights a week, and that's where I get all my highlights from. For all of these looping guides, I just highlight it over there, and then I put it on these looping guides. All right. RPD, one of the funniest maps in the whole game.
once you know how to run it. So I feel the best way to start this map would be to do the areas that are guaranteed to have in east and west. So just for that, we're going to do the main loops and the common areas on both maps. And then we're going to do east side and then we're going to do the west side. So let's get to it. This is the front central part of the map, right in the middle, essentially. That over there is east. That over there is west. Crazy, I know. The middle area is what will be in both of the areas. You can have a little bit of the left, and same with the upstairs. You'll have library, and that's about it upstairs. And then on the left side, down low, you'll have some areas, but it's blocked off when it's the east side. And when the west side is open, same with this. You will still have this upstairs. You'll have some halls, unlike that one. That one, you just have library. But you will have some halls up here that are always there. It's just the halls are deeper and have more rooms. Same with that side when it's open. So I feel like it's best just to avoid them and have them closed off while we're going over so it's, it'll avoid any confusion on what you will or will not have. I want to go over the things that will be guaranteed you can trust and depend on every single time and then go over the other areas. So this is the main area. This is where we're going to go over last because I want to go over the side and the side. But just from the main area because this is you're going to see this room more than you see any other part of the map. But just starting from this area, this is the very front, this exit door will always be here. No matter if you get east or west, it'll be right here all the time. So let's go over this area first. I think this is one of the most unsafe areas on the entire map. There's two total pallets, which will lead you to one window in there, to the broken room. At least that's what I call it. This one, you can get a free few extra loops a few times by looping insanely tight as tight as possible i know i'm always saying that sound like a broken record but looping is insanely tight the killer will sometimes go a little bit wide around here and you just gained a little bit of distance right just looping as tight as possible the best way to get away from this as well would be for the killer to be chasing you this way most killers know this so they're going to be looking out for it for you, and you'd have to throw it on this side for them to have to go all the way around for you to make it back this way and you still might not because it's a very long shot so pretty much no matter what, count on not being able to make it back to the front desk if you're using this. I think I've had that happen one time where I made it back there by greeting this pallet, but that was because the killer really hard mind gained himself twice while I was trying to make my way to the front desk. This, oh, fucking A. The map sucks. <laughs> it worked. Wow, that really worked. Totally fuck. Yay! <laughs> GG. So that one you definitely these pallets you don't want to throw down either and you want to there's a lot of times going to be a gen here and you want to save this gen so many times survivors are doing this gen first and then there's no reason for the kill to go out here you want to save this gen i know it's not a very safe area since all you have is two unsafe pallets and you're not really going to make it far from either without a little mind game from the killer mind gaming themselves but still you want to save this for last you want to make the killer have to defend this gen all the way out here so save this gen for last a lot of times you'll spawn here right in the beginning of the game do not do this gen save it for last so this pallet is a bit easier to get some value out of since you can greet it and there's a nearby window somewhat so this is another one you want to greed because killers are always going to run through it they'll either go back that way or that way if they go that way you can even throw it down if you want and the killer is going to be running around because the only way to get away from this pallet is to make it to this window this is the only tile you can make it to by getting value off of that pallet so once again this is another pallet that you want to greed running in either direction you pretty much want to greed it because the killers will always respect this pallet since it's very unsafe and it's definitely bloodlustable just be aware of that and make the killer go out of his way so that you can make your way to the broken room. So ideally, if you're being pushed from the main and you're running away from the main gen in the first floor of the central room and you're coming this way, this is the only choice you had. Realistically, what you'd want to do is try to get the killer to mind game himself, right? And then once he's mind gamed himself, you can try to run this way. You actually want to go on the outside because that is the shortest pathing. And then try to make it to this one, right? And then if you even did throw it down, say you did throw it down, then the killer respects it or goes around. 
and say the killer's going this way, he's trying to bloodlust you and you ran this way, once he's on that side, that's when you switch and come to this window. Because the window is the only way you're going to get away from that outside without taking a hit. Unless it's a noob killer that whiffs three times because you did some 360s and he couldn't hit you. But 360s is not something you can ever count on, in my opinion. And then um, he lured all of the guys because there was a few of them. I don't want to use any of these pallets. The fuck? Interesting. I'm like gaining on her, dude. Looping tight. I'm gonna stay here a little, because I wasn't gonna make it anywhere. Looping tight. No. Dang. <laughs> I am dead. <laughs> I can't make the window. I can hope I get this pallet. Loop it tightly. Daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. <laughs> Throw down the pallet and I'll go. Ah! Does he have longer lunge? What the F was that? Oh, strike two. Can I get him to strike out? Yeah, got him. That wasn't a strike out, though. Can I get him here? Strike out! Yes! Because it's one, two, three strikes. You're out at the old fucking ball game. I shouldn't have thrown that. Damn. Hide in the bush. Oh, yeah, we're both running. <laughs> this is bad. Claude's got to do... Claude has got to do something. Oh, darn. Yeah, Cloud's in a locker still. Oh my god, Cloud, are you fucking serious? Swing! Okay, now she's out of a locker. I'm gonna die in first look, aren't I? And there's a trap right next to the shooting. Oh, room, boo. So don't go down the vault. I don't make it to this pallet again. <laughs> I cannot get used to this fucking thing. Yes, I can! But is it enough? I don't think so. Yes! Yes! It's Hunk. I'm not throwing this pallet down though, Hunk. Get ready to see some greed. Damn it. I thought he missed for a second. I was not so lucky. Boo! I don't have the pallet. people into that. Got him. And that gets me here. Now you can have fun with this fucking window. No, oh, I'm at their mercy again. They can block the door. I'm gonna get down by it again. <clears throat> That'd be hilarious though. I'm not. I was running towards the plot. Ah! God damn it. Did I make it far enough? Nope. The starting MMR is 650. Like, if you've never played a game before, your MMR is 650. Oh, 
don't think I make it. Ah! No! I was so close. Boo! Nothing else. <laughs> I love the hunk, dude. That's kind of just a last resort. So, now that we've done the outside and not doing this gen and try to greet either of these pals, very unsafe. Neither of them look that unsafe. It's just hard to get anywhere else. Once you've gotten these ones, let's get into the broken room that used to be a lot stronger. They nerfed it, but they had to nerf it. This room right here, there can be a pallet here as well. Or sorry, there can be a pallet right here as well. There can be a pallet here. You can get double pallets, which is really funny. Because same thing when the killer mind games itself, then you can run over to this one and then killer mind games itself. You don't really want to jump this window because if you jump this window coming this way to maximize the distance you were gained by jumping the window, the killer goes out that way. You have to stay on the path to come this way and you'd have to go back to that one, which is you're trapped because then you're stuck trying to come back to here. Which you can do. Sometimes the killer, that's all they give you to go and you have to take what you're given and sometimes that's what you're given. So you can greed this one and go back and forth with these or say you greed this one and then the killer goes around then you can jump the window and the killer goes around come back around and chain it coming this way killer comes around same thing say you're over here loop the this window killer mind games if it goes around that way then if he goes around that way you can even just jump it straight up and connect those two together now one window you really want to avoid as well is trying to use this window. This window, you can get some really funny value out of a pickle where you're just going back and forth and the guy is right there trying to block the window. But once again, this is not a window you're going to get any value out of an experienced killer because the killer knows exactly what's going to come up. They're either going to get in here, a hit in here, or they're going to double back and get out there. But it is still funny. You can get some value going back and forth with this. But the real reason you want to use this window is from that drop down up there. But I'll get to there, that's upstairs on the same side and we'll get to there in a second. But this window, too many people I see jumping into this, do not ever jump into this window unless you're jumping down from that hole. Or your force, once again, sometimes you're forced and at that point, all you're trying to do is run the killer for a bit longer than you're supposed to and then yeah, you get forced in this pickle. It's just don't ever go into this window with the plan of I'm gonna juice the killer in this window. A map, I walk around, I show the loops and how I loop them, dang. I've Yay, it worked. I said dang because I thought they didn't go for the mind game. Oh my god, I actually won the mind game. That's hilarious. Drop it, because that pallet shouldn't exist anyway. Oh my god, I'm stuck in here. This is terrible. No! Oh! Because it's very unlikely, the only way you're going to be able to get him is for him to actually get like a hit swing in here as you're getting the running ball. And then you have two windows to jump through. And then yes, it is tempting because it looks really strong. But that's another thing that I also try to avoid with the looping guides. They're very good for checkpoints, right? Times where you have to go back and forth and where the killer can swing at you from and hit you. But in my experience, that's very dependent on the killer or your own latency. Because there's a lot of times where you jump and you take two steps and you get hit. And it's like, but he wasn't supposed to be able to hit me there. But that's the problem with the connection. So I, I do try to avoid in these guides as well, trying to be at the, this is safe to jump from here if he swings from this piece of paper, because in theory that would work, but not when you have a bad connection. So I do try to avoid that as well. And this is just going to be one of those rooms where you're kind of stuck in here doing this mind game, which is fun. Just realize that. Never run into here on purpose unless you're forced here and then have some fun with it. This room is very strong as well, especially when you have the two pallets. 
But this window particularly doesn't look quite as strong, but it connects a lot of stuff together. It's not that strong if you're going to go here and you can the killer can see you through and you can see the, whether the killer mind games or not. But there's just so many other times where you're coming this way and you'll juke the window this way and the killer will go around and give you a little bit more distance. Should have thrown that. I'm on death hook. Yes. And then you're coming around this way and doing this. Back to the broke room, what we were doing before, and then the killer came to go around that way. Then you jump this, right? Just what we were doing before. But it is very valid. There is tons of times that you're going to be juking from that direction or this direction. Same thing, where the killer is like here and you can crouch juke it even, and then the killer doubles backs and then completely reset where all your distance from the killer was at. But this is a very, very good window to be juking. I'm not sure why, but I get so many times where I'm in the position where juking the window has helped me. Don't go back here unless for some reason you're forced this way and then realize that you're going to have to use the distance between you and the killer to sort of see which way because you're not towards anything safe. So there is nothing for you to run back there, but you can use the distance that it creates between you and the killer to make it to something safe. But just realize that. Don't run back here being expecting to be like, oh, I thought there was a pallet or something here. There is nothing back here whatsoever no but i'm so close to full health i'm not gonna make it either she's chasing me that's why i wanted heals there will i make this i think so right What? Boo! Interesting. No, I tried to juke it and I got caught on the fucking wall. <laughs> yes! Everything happens for a reason. <laughs> they vaulted. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why that's always funny to me, a fucking killer's vault. How'd you go that way? You pretty much had me. Nice. Now somebody else can go get him. Oh. 
He actually hit me here. That's hilarious. <laughs> Make this, do I? Yes! Ah! Oh my god. I couldn't even see him. I got too excited that I actually made a good play against Knight on RPD and then I blew it. No, I should have juked the window. I'm getting tunneled. I'm getting the tunnel. Escalators! Damn it. Oh, fuck. Oh, nice. <laughs> He's gonna get me with this fucking... Yeah, <laughs> I should have thrown the pallet. <laughs> So now let's go upstairs. So upstairs over here is all common area as well. We have it conveniently picked so that it is blocked off areas that are not common areas on the upstairs. Because if we're on the east side, this wall will be open. But even when the east side is closed, we still have some upstairs hall as opposed to on the other side where you pretty much just have library. This one, this pallet right here is almost impossible to get any type of value off of, especially against killers like Huntress and Slinger and Nemi. Killers like that, Trickster, this is like one of the worst pallets of all time. There's nothing you're going to be able to do against Trickster with this one. It's not even really that great of a pre-drop because there's nothing you can connect it to. If there was a wall here, you could connect it, but there's not, so it's not really that great of a pre-drop. Same exact thing with when the pallet is either here or here, because the pallet can spawn with this desk as well, and I almost never get value off of those pallets. It's almost better, once again, just to hold forward and make them lose a little bit of distance by going around and then see where else you can get instead of trying to get there. Unless that's literally your last opportunity, and then once again, just greet it as many times as you can. It's almost a better pallet to just keep going back this way, because killers aren't going to want to lunge into it, so it's better to hold on the opposite side of where they are, but don't get too far away from the pallet. There is another pallet on this map that is very similar to the map to that, where a lot of people think it's one of the worst pallets in DVD, but I actually think it's the most fun pallet in the entire game. Now, this one, pretty straightforward. You can get hit over this as well. Don't be hugging this too tight if the killer swing hits you. That being said, this pallet also is kind of just filler. You're not really going to get too much use out of it unless the killer is right there. If you pre-drop it, you might get some value, but it's too far, in my opinion, to get some value unless it's a serious pre-drop because you'd have to run all the way around here and then back around to try to get some value. And to me, that's just you're never going to get value pre-dropping that unless the killer can't see you and you're not even in chase yet and then also refuses to break the pallet. So this pallet is kind of worthless. It's just there to at least give you something to bide the killer's time with if you're out of other options. Well, this is bad. It was very close. Escalators help me. I could have I should have thrown that, but Ah 
Now pre-drop this because you can't shoot downwards much. The fucking duck dodge, that was the rest of her power too. I'm not gonna make it, no! Yes! No, oh, he's got me. God damn it. I wanted to make it back. <laughs> There's nothing I was gonna do there. There's like no wrong way to loop it. Oh, I went to the wrong pallet. I wanted to go to this one. Yay. Damn it. <laughs> I like me now. I like me now. <laughs> Now this pallet can either be right here, or it can be right here where it is. This is another pallet that you, you can get extra loops by looping as tight as possible. And this is another one that is pretty straightforward, not any magic tricks you can do on this one, especially when it's in this position. However, if the pallet is in this position right here, not only can you loop it this way, but you can also loop it this way. And the killer a lot of times won't be ready. Do you want to stand like here to see which way they're coming from and then come back around and go? And a lot of people don't think about that and it doesn't help. It's not, it doesn't help too much. It's not going to make this an OP loop. It's just like another fun option to do, especially if you pre-dropped it and the killer does not kick it. And then you can get a few extra vaults by just running in this circle, using the outside hall, running around, waiting for the mind games, getting here, waiting to see, coming back and jumping this pallet. Damn it. Oh god. <laughs> Dead hard. Oh, it wasn't the hard dead, but it worked like a hard dead. Ah! Yes! I shouldn't have ran this way. I should have gone the way I was going. Yes! Oh my fucking god! This, this window right here, you have to specifically memorize because if you do not have the east side, over here is completely worthless. There is nothing here. If you run up these stairs and run this way, the killer is going to go off that and cut you off. So just think about that when you see this window in this area. When it's closed, you're only going to be running that window. Say you were, say you just got some value off of this pallet and you're running this way. And you jump the window. You are not going, you, I mean, you can go this way if you want. But how you really, since you would have to go technically a little bit towards the stairs to go off this, you're not capitalizing on the distance gain. Plus you're running toward the dangerous area. So if you jump that window, it's just much better to jump this window and run this way. I will also say sometimes you will get stuck running straight anyway because the distance gained when you jump through this window, the killer will go around the outside, right? So you don't want to cut back in towards the killer and lose all the distance you gained. So occasionally you will have to be running this way. Jump that window and you will get forced into this whole pickle we were talking about earlier from when you jump that window up there. That's why having this pallet right here is very useful because you can mind game this pallet to sort of get to this 
area, right? And even if there's not a pallet here, you can just keep the killer on the wrong side, right? Uh, of the window itself to then get to the window you're trying to get to. But I always like to think about that as well, because when you're jumping down this window right here, you're not going to want to jump down this window, right? And either go this way, where you're running towards the stairs, losing the distance you gained, or jump this window, and then immediately cut this way. You never want to cut this way after jumping that window, because you're losing all the distance you gained. You want to use this pallet here to sort of mind game your way to that table, and then back to that window to get away. I don't think that's enough for me. Yes! Oh my goodness. So here's the last guaranteed room on this upstairs on east. If east is closed, this room will still be here. And this is actually my favorite upstairs room because nobody seems to loop this room lock loop this room right everyone seems to try to make this a very unsafe mind game between this and doing this that is not how you want to loop this pallet you want to use the outside run the killer around use this as your checkpoint to see which way the killer's coming if he does killers never do but if he pushes back you out now you're running this way if the killer pushes you back around use the same thing for the checkpoint to see which way are they going this is another pallet where if you just stop for half a second just for a second, killer will go all the way around and forget what happened. They might even go back and try to slap you because they think you're camping the pallet. You can get extra loops out of this. This is just my one of my favorite pallets on this map. Because killers don't want to break it either. So it makes a good pre-drop as well. Because killers think it's a waste of time, it seems. But if you're looping as tight as possible, talking about your pathing at all times, looping as, as tight as possible at all times, cut around this corner is sharp. Cut around this corner sharp. Jump the pallet, cut around sharp. The killer's going to have to loop like three times before he can get to you. He will catch up to you eventually, but he'll have to get there. Oh, God. If I had a bigger distance, I could have used the whole... No! Oh my god. No! Wait. No, he can cage me. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, it's great he didn't drop this. <laughs> Throw it. Yes. Worked again. <laughs> Damn it. Do you think it went down? No. <laughs> now, I like to call this the niche pallet, especially with this hole down here, because if you're running either balance landing or a lithe, you can get enough distance to use that window we were talking about earlier that is really bad. You can use this pallet to get enough distance there. You can either do it with the pre-drop or the greeting it, right? And then you run over here. You have to have some distance. I'd say he'd have to be like coming around this room. You'd have to mind game himself a little bit before he got down here, jump here. And then if you have, you know, life, you can get the running vault like I just did. And then you can either life away or if you had balance landing when you land, that's even better in terms of this window because when the killer goes down, they're going to have to jump around all, of, jump and go around the long way. So you always gain the distance there. 
A balanced landing is better for that one, but life does also work here. I know I don't like to bring up particular builds, but that window is very, very strong if you have balanced landing or life, and if you don't, it's very, very weak. That's, to me, the true meaning of that window down there. It's not to be stuck in a pickle after you were trying to loop the broken room. It's getting value off of that pallet, using the extra distance, then balance landing here. Or life when you get to this part, because then you can life and get your sprint burst away. Or you can be patient with your life, and instead of dropping it and then immediately jumping, you drop it, get your one go around for the killer to catch up to you. Then you jump with life, which will get you your sprint burst over here with the increased distance. And then you'll make it to your window. Make sure you get the running vault. And then you're free. I love that hole, though. Nobody uses that hole. And you, you have to connect the niche pallet with it. But if you do, it is very strong and very useful to have that info. Nice. And the last thing I haven't gone over over here is these windows. These windows are another thing you're not going to get much value over. I really try to avoid windows that give you a stagger. And by a stagger, I mean when you jump the window and the killer gets all types of distance gained on you because you didn't have balance landing like this. Right? And the killer vaults and I just gained like no distance. You might save your life once or twice, but even then, if you jump, the killer goes down that one and now he's stuck between here and there. Now it is a bit RNG, so you can't have the window be there instead, but even then, I just don't think those windows are enough to count on because you're never going to get more than one vault off of it and it's more so the killer's pushing me this way and here's the window to waste his time for another few seconds because I just don't think they're anywhere near trustworthy enough to count on. No! This is sad. Yes! I greeted that earlier. I didn't think it was going to work again. I should have run to the pallet. So that does it for the common areas of the east side. So now let's do the common areas of the west side. So now we're going to do the west common areas. Now a lot of the west common areas are what I would consider the main area and what you are going to be looping most often while playing on this map. So let's go over the one part of the west common area that is not going to be utilized in the main loop. There's actually two. This window right here, you are never going to get value off of this window unless you are playing on West RPD. If you're on West RPD, this window is really not that bad. A lot of people don't realize that, but you can jump this window and then go around that long way and then jump this window. You can even greed that pallet to get back to the window. But don't count on that. Count on this window being completely busted. You're never going to get use out of it. Even if you're running this way, if the killer's chasing you this way and you jump this window, the killer is going to go around that way and you didn't really gain much distance at all because you could have just made it a shorter path by running this way and running to the pallet. So the only way you're going to get value off of this is if, say, there's no more pallet left, and similar to the other window, this is just your only choice. You're not going to get super value off of this. You're just going to see how many times you can juke the window, essentially. Now, it is a fun thing to do, sit here and juke the window. You're just going to go down very quickly. God damn it. How many times can it work? Damn it. <laughs> Boo! Damn it! Ah! <laughs> that window. Ah! No! I should have gone the other way. <laughs> Not like what I say about the game is be all end all, but does he get me here? I think he does, right? Nope. 
That was very close, though. Pre-drop. Ha <laughs> ha! Now let's go to the upstairs library, because that is the only other area I don't incorporate much into what I consider the main loop on this map. So this library area, there might be a gen back here sometimes. And this drop down, there's nothing down back here, but this drop down can be useful if, uh, if somebody is hooked here and the killer is camping. And you're trying to jump down and the killer thinks he's going to get two easy hits and somebody acts as bait and takes the hit and then you jump down and get the unhook. So, but besides that, you're never going to be coming back in this area, at least unless the west side is open. But this pallet right here is a very, very good pallet to run tighter than you think you can. I've gotten many extra loops off of this pallet just because it was tighter than the killer thought it was or they'd stub their toe on these chairs. This is very good tile to put in the time to learn to loop as tight as possible as I'm doing here. You can always loop tighter. Nobody loops as tight as possible, but trying to get it cookie cutter tight, essentially. Now, a lot of times, too, when the killer gets close enough, they'll respect it and go around the long way, which he'll push you back either way. But if he's closer and you want to get another loop out of it, same thing. Switch to this side and get some extra loops, right? Probably should have thrown that. Yeah! R-E-S-P-E-C-T. No! He's got the lusty blood! <laughs> Fucking hell. Bo! Yes, he got Onied. That happened to me earlier. It was really annoying. But no, I'm running towards the problem, not away from it. Uh, got him. Go this way, actually. Give Claude a chance. Let's loop the fucking. This is where we die. Ah! The fuck? Why didn't he hit me earlier? Swing. Yes. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cheryl. I was not looking. If you're over here, I suppose you could, if you had windows of opportunity, see if you wanted to get away by coming this way and the killer jump around. But you'd have to count on it with windows of opportunity because it seems like those are RNG on which one you get to spawn. Now, another tile that will help you get to the library if you're not going to make it there safe because there's not many safe tiles down there this is another good window that you could use a crouch juke on i know i don't recommend the crouch juke often but this one is definitely a good window for the crouch juke hit that crouch button as fast as you can the faster the jerkier and the jerkier the better because the killer sometimes will completely stop looking and just think it was quick and quiet and they get down here and be like what and then coming back up right but sometimes all you need is that little bit of extra distance to make it back to this tile anyway and to make it to this pallet to essentially start a whole new chase without getting hit, you know? <laughs> the crouch juke, dude. Fucking love to see it. Yeah!
This skin is... Oh, fucking A. <laughs> that fool got juked coming out of that. Oh, man. I'm winning all the 50-50s so far on this one. Okay, that was late as shit. <laughs> this hole... Be very aware of this hole. This hole has no use for us here. It, in fact, brings you down to the worst tile in the game, in my opinion. The most fun palette in all of DVD, in my opinion, right here. But just be aware of that, because if the killer's pushing you this way, and you weren't thinking, you're thinking, you know, if the killer's pushing this way, I'm going to jump down here, right? And then you start coming this way, and the killer just jumps down that hole, and then they cut you off there. Or you start coming this way, right, because you think the killer's going to go along, and then here he is. And you're at the worst tile now. So be aware of that hole. That hole is not for us. It's for the killer to be able to do something when we jump this window. Sort of weaken the window from being as strong as it is. Especially if you have balanced landing. Ah! Jump the window. Down the stairs. Oh. So I think it's funny. Oh god, where the fuck did he come from? <laughs> So that brings us to the long pallet. This pallet can be in this spot right here, as it is, or it can be in this spot right here, as it is. If it's in the spot right here, not only can you run it that way, but you can run it this way as well. People forget about that too. But you can use that as a way to greed. You can greed this pallet. A lot of times if you get a pallet right here, which you did, you can actually greed this pallet here, and then get to this pallet, greed this pallet here, which can get you back to this pallet, and then you can go around, get whichever the killer comes, greed that pallet, and then you're back here. And you just did a full circle, greeting three pallets, where you kept gaining distance from the killer because you greeted this pallet, then you greeted this pallet, and then you mind game this pallet, and once the killer goes around the long way, you run back to the window. It is a really funny chain of events to pull off. And it's not uncommon to pull it off. This is why I'm recommending it to you. Weska. You hit by escalators already, huh? No! He shook it up. We get not the full strength of the escalators. I gotta troll him here. Because we're gonna get hit either way. Might as well troll. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Damn, I wanted to run that way. Yay! <laughs> this map is ridiculous, dude. I fucking think this map is hilarious. Damn. I should have ran the other way for maximum escalators. Can I make the window? Damn. Yes! Run straight. No! Now, this one right here, this pallet is more useful when it's the actual west side, because then you can use this pallet, because this window, if you're running it the other way, and then you run around the back, is stronger, but if you're running it this way, you can use the pallet to greed to then jump the window. And you can still do that, use the pallet to greed to jump the window, right, and then you can get into this mind games here, but you have to win the mind game enough to be able to drop the pallet, and I just don't want to throw that pallet. Unless I need to take pressure off or not go down. There are scenarios where you need to not go down and throw the pallet because you would really hurt the team if you went down in scenarios like that. But for the most part, just don't throw it unless you're on death hook. Like all the other important pallets. So if you're coming this way, this pallet for some reason, even though it is very unsafe, killers always respect it. Killers never want to break it. They always run it around. That's why I keep saying read this pallet too and then run to the front desk. Because for some reason, killers always respect that pallet. I can't figure out why because it is definitely not worth respecting. You definitely want to break that pallet and create a dead zone. It's an optional pallet, so you can't count on this pallet being here. But when it is, you can count on greeting it and the killer respecting it.
<laughs> God damn it. Oh no, he didn't swing. I wanted him to. I'm fucked here. Ah, another fucking pallet. Damn it. God damn it, this sucks. I'm suing. So what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? So 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 what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I will throw that fucking thing down. That's because we have no gens left. So 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 what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Say you Wesker, Wesker. What you doing there, buddy? <laughs> I don't know if I make it. Yes, I do, ski. week for bartenders. Times square bartenders, I should say, but that's fine. I like finals week. I have the distance that time. Appreciate the bits. That's actually a tap step called flips. Dang. Lusty blood. No! Oh! <laughs> I make it. I will make it. Oh! No, he's down! Oh, thank fucking God. I'm not even religious, but oh my fucking god. My butthole was clenched for Jesus. Where are the pallets? Where are where are the pallets? Where are the pallets? Let's use a saw now. <laughs> that was funny. You can get me here, I think. No, it's down too! What the fuck? The fucking hallway yet. way don't double back please hatchet 
No. Holy shit, he's super fast. You never broke that. No, you never broke. God damn it. I don't think I'm gonna make it back though. Yes, I do. Ha <laughs> ha! Now, let's go back this way. If you're running this way, this is what the main loop essentially is going to be. Because the main loop on this map is on a ticking time bomb. You can keep running it, but the killer won't get you down each time until all the pallets are gone. And then the main loop only just gives you slight distance increases. But, luckily, there's three, four, or even five pallets sometimes that give you your out when you're running the main loop. But first, let's get to here. So this pellet right here is the one you want to see, especially when it's on this side, because if this right here, because this door will be open if you have the west side, but if it's not, and the pallet is right here, this pallet is very difficult to get used out of, because if you throw the pallet here, and the killer goes here, you're stuck trying to do the mind game back and forth, which isn't the most safe, and once again, I try to not count on that, because if the killer has a bad connection or I have a bad connection, I'm going down regardless if I made the jump on time or not, but if you are stuck in this scenario, it's good to look through that. You can see through that grate right there, so you can see if they're coming, and you could probably make the jump, as long as you have the reaction time and the connection time for it. Now, if the door is here, this pallet's not that bad, because you can run around this way, right? And that's how you'd want to anyway. You'd want the killer to be coming this way, so you could throw it and then get out this way, because if you're coming this way, same thing, and you throw this pallet and you go to come around this way, the killer's just going to go around and then you're stuck again. So this is not a very good pallet, unless this door is open, and it's still not the pallet you want to see here. You pretty much always want to see this pallet, because if you're running this pallet, the killer has to go the long way, right? If you're going this way, the killer's forced to either go around that way and try to cut you off, or go around that way, which is also the long way. And if this pallet is here, you have the double bonus of it being close enough to these stairs, right? Where you're coming down the stairs, and you can get value off of this pallet. Or, if the pallet's here, it's close enough for you to get value by connecting the worst tile in the entire game to. I feel like that's one of the only ways you're going to get value off of this, is if you can actually get them to swing there and be able to get it to here. Bill! Oh! Or Bill can throw it down like that. That's absolutely fun. I ain't never shaming nobody for throwing a good pallet down for a fucking pallet save. Uh-oh. Go back this way. Yeah, good shit though, Bill. Look at pallet here. Yes, I do. Bill! Dang, for some reason, I oh, he went after Bill. Dang. Get a head start, actually, because I threw that pallet down already. I oh, fuck, I have to go this way. Oh fuck, they did not respect. Ah! Can't believe that worked. Oh my god! What? I could have actually used that. <laughs> no, I thought I had it. This is bad.
It doesn't matter though. Is this? I see. And I. Once I can get value out of this pal. It's down! No! What the fuck? I mean, yes, that's what I planned. No! Oh! Trickster, it's my fault. I wasn't teabagging my teammates. I was teabagging myself for being boosted. This is bad. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't just hit me there. Go around. <laughs> That was funny. I blew every part of that chase. On the PTB, it feels the same. I'm like, I didn't need to use any of these. <laughs> I'm sitting here looping doing the same shit I did last, or, you know. I can't the pallet, don't look at me. Oh shit, Kubo! <laughs> Oh fuck, let's just go this way. Shit. Listen to this. Hot dot 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 hot dot. That's literally what it said. Oh shit! Yes! But that brings us to my favorite tile in all of DBD currently. It's one of the weakest tiles in the entire game. This tile is absolute trash. It's just the most fun tile. I used to be trying to get pallet stuns because I thought that was the only way we were going to be able to loop it. But I'm telling you, just don't ever throw it down. I haven't not thrown it down because I was trying to get a pallet stun for the looping guide. But the one time I ever got value off of this was the time that I didn't throw it down. The killer swung and I was able to get away this way. Every other time it's just been a lot of fun games going back and forth, seeing how long you can read the pallet. And every single time I've ever thrown this pallet, I regretted it. Yes! Damn it! I literally will never get a fucking pallet stun with that thing. Pointless pallet. I'm still trying to get value out of this shit. One of these days. Yeah. Almost, bro. I almost got the stun. God damn it. One of these fucking days. Alright, give me. No! I lost it. No! I need it right here. No! I wanted it. <laughs> God damn it. The one time I got value, I didn't throw it. Let's go try to get value on this fucking thing against the Nemesis. I'm sure this will go well. Oh my god, it did go well. That's hilarious. Damn it. I didn't get the quick fall. That's so sad. <laughs> so at this point, I think it's actually just best to sit here and go back and forth because no killer wants to let the survivor get value off of that pallet. They can't. So even when they swing, they will swing in and then like swing away because they don't want to get hit by the pallet. Value out of this dumb. Yay. That would have been value, right? Does that count? No! I was so close. 
So knowing that, like, you just camp this side, whichever side they run to. If they run over there, you're, you're camping, like, you can still throw it down. And they run back to this side. And just don't ever throw it down. I wish I'd never have thrown it down. The one time I got value out of it, I didn't throw it down. And now I'm realizing that you should just never throw it down. Just sit here and mind game the crap out of it until the killer swings. And then try to get either to this pallet that we were talking about. Because this is the only way you're going to get anywhere. If you get up the stairs, in theory, you might be able to get up the stairs. Right? And get a crouch juke and get over this way. But you have to count on a lot for that to happen. Alright, let's go try to get value out of this fucking pallet. I won't get away with it though. No value. No. I'm gonna try to get use out of the useless pallet. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yes. Dang. God. The most pointless pallet ever. So now we come to the front desk. The front desk is a mini version of my favorite loop on this map. The escalators, as we like to say. But with this one, what you want to do is you want to keep them on the far side. You want to run around. The front desk this long way because it's it's impossible for a mind game run in this way because you will get extra loops out of this because the killer a lot of times don't know what's the most in doesn't know what the most efficient pathing is so instead of running this way which is the way you need to run to be the most efficient a lot of times the killer will think it's more efficient to go out this way but it wasn't you just gained a little bit of distance. Not enough. The killer will be gaining distance on you, but you did take a shorter way than him, which will... You'll get some extra loops out of it, right? And this is another pallet where th getting the actual pallets done is kind of hard. So a lot of times you just want to mind game it as many times as you can so you can get somewhere else, right? So if it was on that side, you could mind game it to get to here, which then you could juke this window, watch the killer go around. And then you come around here, right? And then you're back at this mind game as we were talking about before. And if it's on the side it is right here, you do what I was talking about earlier, where you greed the pallet and then use it to connect back to this one, because this is a stronger loop. But you can't do that once the pallet is gone. Once the pallet is gone, you can't use it as a mind game to connect everything. So that front desk pallet is very important, despite it not being a very safe pallet. I will also say that these lamps are pretty annoying against huntresses, slingers, tricksters, nemesises even. I'm a nemesis main and I'm telling you, I can't tell you how many times I've hit that lamp or that lamp. It should be a pretty good tile, and it's still a pretty good tile against Nemesis. It's just you have to be very aware of those lamps. So knowing that, you can use those lamps to sort of make the Huntress hit that lamp instead of just ducking. Because if you're just ducking, the Huntress can still hit you. But if you're, like, ducking in the lamp, they might not think about it and hit the lamp. So I do think that's viable when it comes to projectile killers. Those lamps have huge hitboxes. Inexplicably huge hitboxes. Shava! It's not as clear as the front desk! <laughs>
Damn it. Damn it! That <laughs> window. And then I worked a double. Escalators! I'm gonna have to turn this around. I need him to try to push me the other way. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> and then do it again. So he's gonna get the lusty blood soon, though. If I can get him to swing here, damn. I wanna do it again. Oh, good stuff. <laughs> this window again. Yeah, I was like, it's gotta be blocking soon, right? There it is. There it goes. There it goes again. There it goes again, all on its own. And this window should be open again. No, it's not, boo! Do it again. It left me. That was hilarious. It's time to run them good old escalators. Escalators! <laughs> and do this again. <laughs> the fuck happened there? <laughs> Let me make it back. They have a pallet here. They do. Dang, he didn't respect. You get no respect. Run up the escalators again. He'd be able to hit me with the shred there. Yes! Kate got left on hook. Nothing I could do there, though. You can get me here. No! I should have looped inwards. Read it. Of course, it gave me a skill check. <laughs> That's such a bummer. Why is it like the most guaranteed thing on DBD to give a skill check? They're leaving. Ah. 
Damn, I was hoping to go for the pallet. And not me. Oh! <laughs> this is Blight. This is a big black boy. You got me here, right? Nope. That pellet's gone. I'm Shara. Oh, boo. I'm going down here. I think I can get hit over that. I can get hit over that with the Nemesis Whip. But not if the lights are in the way. And the lights do get in the way. They're really annoying. I'm not going to lie. Oh shit. I looped too tight. Boo! Why did I loop too tight? I'm trying to loop the most efficient. Dang it. I thought he was going to pound that. <clears throat> I'm going to take a hit here. Ah! Hope you loot tight main. Dang, I was hoping I'd get away with this. But I did not. My god, it's a hag! Oh my god, we're about to escalators the shit out of this. She already put a trap down. <laughs> this is why I like playing against hag. I'm not gonna be able to escalators this. I did not have the jump start for escalators. <laughs> hey, can we escalators this? Down low. This down low! Juke. Dang. Didn't work. Oh darn. The pallet's done. Oh no. She let me go. <laughs> what in the world is that? Hindered. Man, I haven't played on this map before. Oh, fuck. I mean, like, that play kind of looks like it. Damn. Nice. The fuck? Oh, here we go. This is a terrible position I'm in here. Damn. I should have thrown that down there if I wanted to not go down, but... I ain't throwing this fucking thing down. And then I was like, holy shit, I fucking love Nemi. This is a terrible loop against Trickster. <laughs> this guy's having fun. Oh shit. I should have taken that running vault. Ah, should have taken it. Oh god.
No, <laughs> I wanted to juke the window. <laughs> I don't make it to this pallet again. <laughs> I cannot get used to this fucking thing. Yes, I can. Oh. And greet it. Yay. Yes. Bim 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 bim. Yeah. <laughs> If I run that way, she will get left on the hook. I just sit here and greed this crap. <laughs> Alright, nice. Where's the pallet? No pallet! I'm gonna take a hit here. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna throw it down when I do make it. I do made it. Hey, dude, made it. <laughs> so this brings me to one of the easiest loops in all of Dead by Daylight, the escalators. We call it the escalators because of one crazy game we had where... We had three survivors throwing in the basement and the killer hooked two and left one slugged when I came down to investigate and left the last one slugged to try to get me and get the 4K and then got ran up and down in these escalators for four minutes while they bled out and then got the hatch. And we call it escalators because it was an inside joke already before that video that every time we're running up and down it, just like SpongeBob, you gotta scream, ESCALATORS! <laughs> just like SpongeBob and Patrick. Because you're literally just running up and down the escalators. Now, it sounds simple because it is, but what's really funny is you want to try to keep the killer in line with that statue because the killer a lot of times won't loop as tight as possible as well. So even though it's a humongous loop, you still want to be hugging these walls, looping as tight as possible. Because a lot of times, and it's unmined game, well, the killer will either try to go the other way because he's not gaining on you, and then you're just going this way, and they're in plain sight. There is no possible way for them to mind game this, and it's really funny because if you're just standing here and they're down there, it seems like you're not that far away, but you were incredibly far from the killer. You can get like three loops out of these escalators and then just take a hit from the killer if you want, and then take another three loops, or two loops really, because you won't get enough distance, and then you can either greed the pallet or throw the pallet if you want. But literally, if you're a noob and you went in doubt, you don't want to learn too much, all you want to learn is one quick loop on this map, these escalators are absolutely hilarious. And all you have to do is just run in circles and you'll run the killer for a good minute just up and down these escalators and the killer can't do anything but run up and down that's more what it is oh shit where am i going escalators i just want to run this for funny times escalators <laughs> Escalators! <laughs> Dude, in the PTV, this shit was way too funny. They had a fucking... Oh my god. Escalators! <laughs> Dude, escalators. <laughs> oh my god, I'm boosted. <laughs> escalators! God damn. This fucking map is hilarious, dude. <laughs> Escalators! <laughs> Just looping it tight, man. <laughs> Why is this so stupid? It's like the strongest loop in DVD. <laughs> oh, she's supposed to do a build blood loss, man. Like, why? <laughs> Zoom off this way. <laughs> That's what I mean, dude. That fucking escalators is so dumb. This might be my favorite map right now. 
Because this shit is way too funny. <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> Should probably hit me here though, to be fair. Oh, uh, dang. No, she gave up on the escalators. <laughs> The best fucking loop in the game. <laughs> the dumbest fucking loop of all time, dude. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> escalators! <laughs> this is what it fucking feels like, dude. Alright, escalators time. Ready for this? Dang. Share one of the escalators. Escalators! Yes! We're getting escalators. Oh, dang. <laughs> this is the dumbest loop in DVD, but it, like, might be my favorite right now. <laughs> Just running in a fucking big-ass circle. Escalators! Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to make it again. That would have been funny as hell, though. I had no chance but to vault that. Yeah, that's a whole, uh, a whole full-on tap dance if you want to see. I probably should have thrown that. Escalators! Escalators! <laughs> Dude, this is the dumbest loop in the fucking game, but it is so funny. Here's... Yay! Escalators! <laughs> They're actually doing it. This is hilarious. Come on now. Yes! <laughs> they hit the ball. <laughs> this is why it actually works against Huntress, too, because it is hard to throw over that. And she's 110, so you can get a bunch of fucking runs. <laughs> Escalators! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> they switched right. They left. <laughs> and Escalators' trap is down. And it back up. No, if he wants a foot race. I definitely learn more and more about this map, though, for sure. This ain't what you want to do, main. I shall find ways to run escalators. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he picked it up. <laughs> and leaves. <laughs> Wait. No! It was like I could take a hit. I thought that hook was down.
<laughs> no way. Oh god. Escalators! <laughs> Come on, escalators. Ha! <laughs> Back to more escalators. <laughs> Sleep is hilarious, dude. <laughs> yes! I mean, I'm gonna get hit here. That's my favorite type of troll on the killer, though. Escalators! Please keep chasing me now that we have an extra boost. No! You're supposed to not do that. Bad hag. <laughs> I didn't that actually because I'm on death hook. And it escalators this. Yeah. This is prime ass escalators. Yeah. This is some prime ass escalators. <laughs> I get three fucking loops off this shit. Yeah! Escalators! Escalators! <laughs> we gotta mess with Hag Squatch now. <laughs> I love playing against Hag, this shit's hilarious. No, gave me the fucking run ping. Escalators! Or <laughs> zone ranked, <laughs> you know, and then you'd put like an amount of rounds on it. And you had to get like a hundred. This is before there was even King of the Hill or Annex. It was literally only War Zone execution and assassination. That was all they had. And like they would He can't stalk me here, can he?
<laughs> so, to maximize the escalators, what you want to do, or sorry, so for the main loop in the game, is essentially you're going to either use the escalators or the front desk as a starting point, and that window right there doesn't look like a great window, but you gain a little bit of distance. So to use, so to utilize the maximum distance that you gained off of that, you want to stay distant from the killer. So you use it this way, right? So if the killer pushes you around this way and you're running down the escalators, you're running down the escalators and you run this way, the killer is coming down that way. You have a bunch of distance. So you just gained enough distance, right? Where the killer is going to have to come down here. Use this point right here as a stopping point to check and see if the killer's coming. Because if they're not coming, then you got to listen to your terror radius and act accordingly on which way he's coming. If the killer does come this way, then you're just running over here. Running up here. Up the escalators. Stop here. This is another good stopping point. Right? If the killer's not coming, there's no point in continue running. Listen to, your, to the terror radius. And run back down. If the killer is distant enough, you just keep going this way. So this essentially is the base loop that you will add little bits of spice to. You're just going to run this circle right here over and over. So that window doesn't give you that much distance. It's not a god window. You gain a little bit of distance. But that little bit of distance is damaging when the killer is already pretty far back, especially if they can't get you in chase because they're on the other side of the escalators. So say you just ran one circle around here, and then here comes the killer, right? Pushes you this way. And now let's say he's close enough where I can't get another loop around. Now is when you're going to want to start doing the cool stuff. Greed this, right? Killer respects it. And then you run to this. And then you can greed this, like I was saying before. And then you connect it to here. And then you can greed this one. And then you're back on the same window. And then if you want to mix it up a little bit, right? Because if killer thinks you're going to go that way and goes around that way, then you push in this way. And then if you have this pallet right here, right, you can throw that pallet. Which is hilarious, because the killer has to break it. If it's on the other side, it's a little bit trickier to get value out of. But let's just say it, right? The point of this main loop is it's on a ticking time bomb, right? So let's say that pallet's now gone, but well, the killer's still chasing me. Now I'm still running in my circle. I'm running around this way, right? Still running. Jump the window. The first pallet you really want to game, right? You want to go do this one. If you're forced and you don't want to drop a pallet. Because if you don't want to drop a pallet, you're not going to get much extra value off of them by greeting them. But this one would be really fun to do. This one you should never throw anyway. But this one is just a fun one to do. That's the most fun pallet in the game. But for purposes, let's say this time it got rid of this pallet, right? Let's say now that pallet is gone. Now the killer is still chasing me. Still has to chase me around the escalators. Runs down this way. Killer's still chasing me. But now that you know both pallets on that hallway are gone, now you want to start using these ones. But you want to use these ones last. Because these ones are more crucial and can be incorporated to the front desk easier. As the other ones can't really be incorporated to the front desk if it's this or this one. So even with before that one, I would think about throwing this one before. Because I have had killers not break that one and get some extra value off of the pre-drop there as well. Which you can see through that window. Also not possible for the mind, or for the killer to mind game, mind game you because you can see through this window and you can see which way he's coming and which way he's not coming. Great checkpoint because of that. So now that that pallet's done, right, I feel like the three most important pallets for this main room is the front desk, the long pallet there or there, depending on where it spawns, and the actual escalators pallet. Once you're down to here, you're starting to run out of the pallets where you're, you're going to really start throwing some good pallets and then the main loop isn't going to be too much more useful for the rest of the game. So let's say we're still being chased. I would actually say that the escalator's pallet is the next one you want to throw. Running around the loop. You can even try to get some funny meme value out of greeting that pallet, but you won't get any actual value 
off of this escalator's pallet by greeting it unless you're running from the other way. If you're running this way and you greet it, there's nothing for you to go. So that's a straight up meme. You can do that. It is fun to do that to killers. Watch them respect. Giggle at them when you run away and then get slapped on the ground. It is fun to do that. But if you greet it from this way and they respect a little bit, you can make it to either this pallet here or this pallet here, right? You don't want to cut in either if you're running this way. You don't want to cut in and lose all the distance you gain. You want the killer to run in that way and then push you this way and now you're mind gaming the pallet the way you want to. But you, that is a way to get value off of this pallet, is greeting this pallet. But this pallet, I think, is the third most important. So say you throw that one, and he starts to break that one. Now that the escalators are down, this would be a fun time to start doing this, right? Doing the front desk pallet. Going around. Because this way, when he finally catches up, right? When he finally catches up, it doesn't matter which way he pushes. If he had pushed us this way, if he's holding forward... Then we still get another jump off of this window. This is why the front desk one is the last one you want to throw. Because now we're getting to this pallet, right? Which you which you can throw. Because now you have the front desk, but the front desk is one that you never want to throw because you can just get way too many mind games about it. The only time you want to get a throw on the front desk is once again, if going down is crucial to, if, if going down will hurt the team tremendously, then that's the one where you want to get this done. I will also say, if the pallet is here like it is, the killer cannot be between this railing. He literally cannot go there without getting hit by the pallet. So if you see the killer even step there and you throw it, they will get hit by the pallet. So I don't know why it has a bigger hitbox, this pallet does. And same with right here. If they make it around this, they will get hit by the pallet. So that's when you want the stun. And once all those are done, then you're just stuck to bare bones escalators, which is still not bad. If you have enough distance, you can still... Not want to run the escalators by itself, just get your distance here, and then you can loop this over and over until the killer gets you. Just running in this circle over and over. But he will get you. He will catch up without bloodlust. Now, because of this, you really want to do these generators in this main room first a lot of times we'll get one to spawn up top and down low just sit on these generators it's great to sit on these generators anyway because you're in a very safe spot you're on the main loop of the map that's why you want to greed these pallets until you're on death hook because these generators are the ones you want to get done so you can split gens have one over there and then one or two over there that's why you want to hold that one on the outside until the very end same with if it's on the east side you want to hold the east side rooftops until the very end as well now, one additional thing I want to say about this area is this area is very strong against nurse. For some reason, it's hard to blink through these railings and just this area in general. I think it's because the wall is longer than most of us think it is. But for some reason, it's really hard to blink through that railing. And then on top of the fact that you could possibly get basement here, the nurse has to try to guess where you are in between all these walls, and they might possibly blink down into the basement. So if you're playing against a nurse, it's not a good map against four nurses anyway. But if you really want to make it a bad map for nurse... This is a great area to keep running into. They're going to have to try to guess which wall you're in. They might blink into the basement. They sometimes can't even blink through the railing. It's just a huge mess for them. So that is a very good broken part of the map to use against nurses. <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh, do they have the new skin? I still have not gotten a Sabo. <laughs> Escalators! Speaking of which, we literally just watched that video. I think I'm gonna make it all the way around though. Just enough to greed the pallet. Ready for this? Yeah, how you like that? Ah, <laughs> snowman! Oh no! <laughs> they were trying to like have fun and I ran the wrong way. Trying to go around them. <laughs> the pallet greed isn't gonna work a second time though. <laughs> Eels. That'd be a good time for him to use his power. Escalators! Escalators! <laughs> no. Did I make it again? Back to the window? I don't know why he's not using his power. Let me make the window. Maybe back to the pallet. Greet it again. He saw me greed the first time though. Yeah, it worked again. The 
clutch, Steve. I don't make anything. The window, maybe. Yes! And it's blocked, which is hilarious. Boo! Had to throw it down. No! That window's still blocked. Can I make it all the way around back to it? That'd be hilarious. I don't think I can, though. I've thrown everything. No, I should have thrown it. I greeted it. Clears! Dang. Ha <laughs> Should go back the other way though. No, she doesn't. Yes! No! Try to dodge it. I did dodge it. <coughs> she got what's it called? <coughs> she is speed now. I'm gonna try to get use out of the useless pallet. No! Whip don't work on the stairs. I told you the whip no worky on the stairs. Oh damn. <laughs> Tried to juke way too late.
No, I thought I could make it. God. That's even what I thought was happening. I should have gone with my gut. <laughs> Seemed the right time. <laughs> Escalators! Ah! No, I went back into it. Ah! If I was a billionaire, I would just like open one and I would force them to do it the way they used to do it. That is unfortunate for him. So we try to get value out of this dumb... Yay, that would have been value, right? Does that count? No! I was so close! <laughs> Escalators! <laughs> it's the same fucking killer as Pinhead last time, too. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why? Why is it always Pinheads? I agree. I, I've, I've been trying to get value out of that fucking pallet. I actually technically did get value out of that, right? That's like the most value I've ever really gotten out of it. <laughs> I wanted the fucking pallet stun though, that's the thing. Will you respect it again? Dang, I should have thrown it. I don't want to throw it though. Not yet. Boo. Thing. No, are you kidding me? Eat blaze. <laughs> Is that not the fucking dream? That's the American dream, bitch. <laughs> Here comes the goddamn escalators. Right, I am going to message Coke at some point. <laughs> I'm going to be like, yo, I have been drinking y'all for years. I would appreciate, I'll spread the word every time. And we're like, you guys, mmm, delicious. <laughs> I'm practically doing that already, you know what I mean? <laughs> the thing is, Coke would be a hard sell because we're like, bitch, you think we need you? No, they don't. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm just out there trying to get free cokes. Admittedly. She's gonna have lusty blood me before I can make it to any pallet. Oh, I have a good pallet! <laughs> I mean, skill. Look how good I am, you guys. At fucking party game. What's another pallet I can chuck down? The shit pallet. I can chuck the shit pallet down now. <laughs>
Can I make it through the window again and back to this pallet on there? I think so, right? Do the escalators! Yay! Emmy and Chase, though. Look at the lusty blood. Quicker than I intended. Quicker than intended! Nice. Got him, though. The lusty blood! Yes. Dang. I should have thrown it. I want to get value out of that pallet one day. No, other pallet. No. I make this. Run. Mm. I had to throw it. I had to. Oh shit. This map is OPAF. Escalators! Escalators! <laughs> he vaulted. The fuck? Escalators! <laughs> Can't believe he's really going for this. <laughs> Escalators! Oh, good shit. He finally got it. He finally got it. We got there with the huge skill play. I almost missed my shot. I was like, oh, I gotta get right in the corner. Oh, first try. Nailed it. MLG Pro. Need the sponsorship so I can get the monitor. I need 750 frames a second to be able to do that better. And I need it in 8K. The simultaneous 8K. Hey, Spirit, you have a power, actually, you can use? Oh! I see. She had the boozle. No! Oh! Uh -uh.
Here comes Booba. <laughs> oh, the lusty blood. Oh my god, what's up, Flippin? <laughs> no, I need that start. I don't think I'll make another one. I'm gonna try anyway, though. I don't give a shit. Dwight, don't you ruin this for me. I have to run this way. I would not make it. I'm not gonna make it back, though, either. Because there's nothing for me here to stay. <gasps> oh, yes. Mm, yes. The squitters. <laughs> I probably should have thrown that. Maybe they will loop too loose. Mm, yes. The squitters. Can I get one more round out of escalators? Yeah, escalators! <laughs> oh my god, escalators fucking worked! No! Yeah, Should have gone the other way. Escalators! <laughs> yes! <laughs> the escalators! Oh, come on, Naya. Oh, nice. I didn't want to get slammed too. Oh fuck. Everything's gone. Ah, shame. Thing. I was trying to see. I know they're coming after me when the loop so wide. You know, swing. Swing again. Damn. <laughs> Not the way I expected it to. Well, technically, I got what I asked for, didn't I? What the fuck is with my frames? My frames are like dropping a little bit. I'll be able to run back around. Yes, I can. Oh, the fuck? <laughs> Watch this fucking comp drop. Skill! You see that skill there? Oh my god. That was fucking the godliest play. <laughs> <laughs> Got him twice in a row with that shit. I'm gonna get hit, but. Is he gonna fucking boozle it? That would have been hilarious if he'd have boozled that. They're on the generate there, so I can't run that. I was gonna try to run that room, would have been the smart choice there. 
I'm trying to see if I can make this pallet in here. Oh, yeesh. I'll make the window. Oh, no, I won't because I'm a dumbass. Yes, I will. What the fuck? The fuck did he lose me? <laughs> Thought I was gonna greet that? Are you kidding me, dude? Come on now. Escalators! Holy fucking bloodlust. My fucking god. She swung. You're not gonna mind game this. <laughs> Escalators! <laughs> oh! Here he comes now, Sam Mona Mona. <laughs> I'm gonna get fucking tombstone. It's gonna be a tombstone face. Do you want some? Come here. Ha ha. No! He wants some. Did I make the window again? I do ski. Ha ha. Time for some escalators! Why is Trickster doing that weird pose? Why is he doing that? Yeah, I've never seen Trickster doing that. He's like doing the fucking Usain Bolt like pose. Here we go. Oh my god. Did she forget to mend? Okay. And they'll tell me what the actual cool sights are, you know. Escalators! Oh god. He saw it coming. He can't shoot downstairs. Ha <laughs> ha! I hope somebody goes after that guy. What?! He got like my big fucking toe. <laughs> Doing coke. I ain't never liked coke. I like drinking coke. Drinking coke is my literal favorite fucking drink, but I have ADHD. Coke always fucking calm me down. I was like, I had medication like this growing up. I didn't like taking that shit either. So have you ever seen Boogie Nights? Like the the guy not too much, but I was gonna get upset at that.
But this is the thing, you gotta pick being a sore loser or a bad winner. You can't be both. Fuck. Oh, that was lucky. Yay, let's get value out of this tile. No, it's on the other wall. Dang. I got no value out of that tile. <laughs> <laughs> it's my dream one of these days it will happen. Oh damn. Let's go greed the uh, front desk and then- Oh no, it's on the wrong side though. Dang. Escalators! You guys ready for this dumbass shit? Look at this shit, it's so stupid. Escalators! I don't want to throw it down though, so I'm gonna run down here. We did it! Where is she? This is a terrible way to run. I'm not gonna run this way. Just throw over that. Yeah, she can. That was a rough decision on my part. Probably should have gone inwards too. I'm making all the wrong decisions here. Yes, we juked the correct way that time, though. I jump the window. Bum, 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 bum. Do I have extra speed? Speed! My speed is gone. Why is the speed gone? And profit for holding forward. Biggest loop in the game. As long as you run it very efficiently. Forward holding. Bum 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 bum. It was time for the pallet to go. Come on, escalators. This is not a mind gameable pallet. It is not mind a gameable. Yes, the zombie made him go extra wide. I'm dead. I should have got the fast vault. 
Escalators! Can you throw up this way? Oh, boo. Can go this way. <laughs> this is what I mean by RPD is just hold forward and profit. It's like the biggest loop in the game. Oh my goodness! Escalators, 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 escalators. I don't want to throw it yet. I'm not gonna. Oh my god! I always forget about the, f the fucking vault shit. Can you get it again? Oh my god, I thought he was gonna swing at me. Ow! Ah! Greet it! No, it didn't work. I should have thrown the pallet. Oops, looping way too loose. <laughs> Can I make it again? I don't think I make it again though. Yes! <laughs> no. Yes! Oh my fucking god! Oh fuck, I missed the escalators. I'm gonna troll him, ready? I'm sure he threw that pallet. What the fuck? That's sad. Read it. Ah! Oh god. Should have juked it. I was in no position. <laughs> Run! Oh, good shit. No! Can I make it again? I don't think I can. Yes, I will. Is he going back the other way? Nope. I'm not gonna make it. Yay. I should have I should have juked it again. So that is the main area that will always be included no matter if you're playing east or west. Now that we've done everything that's included with east or west, let's go straight over the east side. So a lot of people think that other window is the worst window in the entire map. I think this one is technically stronger. Yes, it'll, you'll get more time out of it. Sorry, the other one was a pallet. This is window. This one is, but this one is just seems like a waste of time.
right? Because the killer always knows that you're going to try to greed this pallet and then run back this way. So you have to wait for the killer to do one of these shenanigans. And if he's here when you do it, you're not going to be able to get the fast vault, right? You want to be able to get the running vault if you're going to try to connect these two together, right? Because you want the killer to be running this way, but the killer knows about the window most of the time. So they're going to be blocking that window. And then it's just a very unsafe pallet by itself, which is okay. You can bide some extra time that way. But... This pallet is actually made stronger when you get a gen here. When you get a gen here, it, it's actually possible to get some value. Now, I didn't. The one time I thought to loop this tile when the gen was here, the killer had coup de gras, and I got no value off of it anyway. Yay, I get to try to run this fucking thing. I've been meaning to try to run this. No, and he had fucking coup de gras. But the reason I don't like this, because it looks stronger than it is, the reason I don't like this, though, is because when you're in this room, you're stuck in another one of those pickles, right? Because you have to cross the killer's path to get out of this room. There's no other exit. So once you're here, you're stuck doing this thing, and that's another thing that you're trying to sort of get ready to not get hit by the bad connection hit, I want to say. But if by chance, because this is one of the only tiles of this whole map I've never gotten full value out of, but if by chance you do make... The vault here that you'd want to run this way you don't want to run on this side you don't want to jump this and then run here because the killer's going to go out that way you want to run around back this way right and if the killer's pushing you this way it's like impossible to get the running vault so you literally only get the running vault and use side of the window if you're going this way it's just most of the times the killer's going to be ready for that and then you're stuck doing the pickle here back and forth so to me this is my least favorite tile on the entire map i don't get much use out of it i avoid this tile as much as i can and I suggest you do as well, unless you want to have some fun games on the very unsafe tile. Hey, go behind. Alright, come here, clown. Now is the time. Watch how terrible I am at this fucking tile. It's awful. <laughs> no! <laughs> hey, get it. Yo, oh, you ran this way! There's nothing here for me. Oh my god, I'm looking too tight. Yes! No! I wanted to make that window so bad. Now, this can either spawn here or it can spawn as it is right here. I think sometimes it can also spawn here. If it's... But this is one of those tiles that you can get the- I don't know why, but killers are always pre-swinging into this one. This is one of the best greeted tiles on the map. For some reason, I'm always getting killers to do a strikeout. We call it a strikeout when they swing three times, and this is the one. They will be double-backing here a lot, so be aware of that. But for some reason, I feel like it's it's harder to loop as tight as possible than people think. So maybe that's why. But I'm usually getting a lot of extra- a lot of extra loops off of this one by just not throwing the pallet. And even if you did throw the pallet, if the killer didn't break it, even for a future, this is another one of those pallets that you can use out here. Because the killer has to go around. You're not going to be able to use it forever. But the killer does have to go a longer distance than you do. So if it's on this way or on the other one, you can get value off of doing it this way. Or if it's on the other one and running around the long way as well, using the other hallways. But this one is harder to get the value off of, I'd say. Because it's a longer route. But also, the, it's a longer route for the killer too, so... It is possible, I just wouldn't count on it. For this pallet, I just want to greet it as many times and see how many times we can get the killer to whiff. Back to this side since they're over there. This isn't the side you really want to run to, but I'll greet this pallet 8 million times and we'll be okay.
Yay. Strike one. Yay! We read it right. That's hilarious. There's nothing here for me. I was hoping there would be, but there's not. Oh, boo. I hope this you're is not what I was hoping to see. Ah! <laughs> we got a huge fucking vault or uh, loop right here. Wow. Yeah, you had to break that. That's hilarious. All right now we got us clears. Okay, you were. Now this area, there is nothing for you. There's one pallet back here in this area. It's right here. This pallet is just kind of an oh shit pallet in my experience. It's close to the outside, which is very unsafe. I never am running down here because I think it's too risky most of the time. Especially if you're playing against a projectile killer and you're seeing something like this pallet. This pallet's completely useless against projectile killers like that. And you're pretty much screwed if you're in this corner. Because the killer's not going to let you out. The killer's not going to just like run back this way and let you get a head start over to somewhere. And even if they did, there's not much for you to get to. That's why I don't think this pallet is very good. It's one of the worst pallets on the map to me. But when you get this pallet, this pallet is very strong. This pallet killer has to break and then you can get away. Get wherever you're going. So I'm not really ever forced down this way willingly. Because all there is down here is a god pallet over here. This is a god pallet. This always spawns here and if you really want to get some serious value out of it you loop back around and use the whole big window use this whole wall right now you could even troll greet it if you want and you might make be able to make it over to here and then do some mind games here if you want to troll greet it so there is an opportunity for you to be able to troll greet it and make it somewhere else but really this is a palette you just want to be able to save for when you're in dire need of a god pallet, you're also risking going down in basement, so when you throw this, just be aware of that. And the killer has to break this pallet, there's no way around that, if the killer wants to keep chasing you. But this pallet is always here, it is insanely safe. And just know that you can count on it, and loop it on the outside. So that's gonna bring us to the upstairs. One of the strongest loops in the entire game is over here on this rooftop. But this is unique to the east side. This rooftop right here. We got pallets. You can have the pallet here or you can have the pallet here. This pallet right here is optional. There usually is one pallet. I think I've had times where neither pallet spawned. But these are also very likely that the killer will double back. You don't really want to throw these pallets either. What you want to do is use these pallets to make it to that window over there. That window over there is one of the best windows in the entire map. And if you're over here, you want to greed this pallet until the killer's pushing you the right way, right? And then you run here, and then you run around here and wait for the killer to be pushing you the right way, right? And let's say the killer doubles back because he thinks you're going to throw it, and then he's pushing you here, and then you jump this. And if you have the distance and you're not having to loop first, you can just jump that window and then run up. And then jump the window again. And if the pallet is right here, you can get an extra free jump. But say I jumped it again, and he's catching up to me this time. And say the pallet is right there. You respect it. Say you respect that pallet, I get an extra jump. I'm not going to make it all the way back around. So now it's time to greed this pallet. Right? Greed that pallet. Sometimes they'll greed it hard enough for you to be actual go all the way up again. Sometimes it's very close. But this is another one of those pallets. Where if the killer has walked inside this threshold and you threw the pallet down, they will get stunned. There's no way to avoid the stun if you're inside this threshold. But that's another one where you can stand there for a second, just a brief second, and then run. And the killer will go around the outside if they don't know that they'll get stunned. Which will give you enough distance to possibly make the window again. I think I got that to happen one time and I just barely didn't make the window. But they could have also had bloodlust and I could have also greeted it better. So it's definitely a possible play. But that pallet right there, you want to use as a failsafe for this window, essentially. When you're jumping this, and the killer gets close enough, that's when you want to go to this one. If this pallet's not here, 
You don't want to run this way because then you're you're losing some of the distance that you got from the killer by turning back in towards him. Because if you jump this way, right? If you run around this way, you're losing some distance, and you're not going to make it back to the god pallet that you want to make it to. This pallet right here, the killer will probably make it to you before you make it to that god pallet. But if you have balanced lightning, you can totally make it to that god pallet. Or life, life might give you enough of a sprint burst to make it. But you'll lose a lot of that sprint burst in the stagger. So these are ones you want to greed. You don't really want to throw these. And then use this window as the main loop of this area. This is a great main loop too. Because if the killer decides to go around, then you can just keep going up and jump in this window. And say the killer's closer, and then the pallet was here, and then you mind game it this way, right? And then come back to this one, mind gaming again. Right, and then jump the window again once you're on the right side. Let's run this super weird way. What? Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I was gonna let her go first. Oh! Feels bad for this blight though. This is a terrible map for blight. Oh no! Yes! Respect it, respect it, respect it, respect it. Yes! Yui is great. <laughs> Dreamy tree. Oh god. Oh my god. God pallet, still up. Ah, uh, sucker. Ah, uh, fucking... I have both? Respect it. Damn. Shouldn't respect it enough, I won't make it. Get pre-dropped on. Sucker! Now, I know there's not many TVs over here, so I can sort of just keep doing this. Please don't double back. Damn it, that's what I was worried about. Oh. <laughs> I wish they didn't take as I wish they didn't take as long as they did. Where's this guy? Not really sure what my strategy is here. 
It's gonna crawl out of the TV. So I thought I have to stay back here though, because if he zaps me one more time, I'm fucked. The F. Okay. Damn it. I wanted it to work so bad. They come down here. That's what I was afraid of. I'll make the pallet though. Yes! No balance though. I won't make it. Yes! How? I feel like I could have got hit there. So it's not like I'm fucking four stacked all the time and I'm like, oh, I got him. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's different. I could pre-drop that there and that'd be actually really good. I'll probably drop it this time actually. Maybe not, maybe I can get around. No! <laughs> I should have thrown. I'm lucky as shit. Do I make it? Ah! I should have looped the pallet, that would have been funny. Where the fuck is he? Oh, there he is. I am not throwing that escalator down. Why is he not using his power? Hmm, I'm in a bad position here. Actually, I should have run this way and came to this loop. Which one do I have? I have this one. Okay, nice. No, I'm sorry. Alright, so now that we got the east side out of the way, let's go ahead and get this west side out of the way. So, the first thing I want to say about the west side is you can actually get some use out of this window right here. The best way to run this window is to be running it this direction. And then cut around the corner as steep as possible. If the killer's not coming this way, then you want to check and go back this way. But most of the time, the killer will just be chasing you because they don't expect people to run the window this way. And you jump the window and go around again. This is not one of those windows where you're going to get a ton of vaults off of it because you have to have a good chunk of distance for it to work in the first place. But if you have the good chunk of distance, you can run it. So that's just a good window as well that you can incorporate. Say all the pallets are gone and we were talking about the main loop, right? Where say you're coming this way and all the pallets were gone and you were out of options, you can then start getting out value out of that window. You just can't count on that window being there because you're not always going to be playing on the west side. But then you can start getting value out of this window, right? And the killer has to go around and comes in. Then you can either come to this pallet over here, right? It can either be on this side or that side. Or... You can come to this one right here, which is a little bit closer than the window is if you get to this pallet. But this pallet got to be careful of against projectile killers. It sucks, and the killer can hit you over this. So be very careful on this pallet. You have to actually loop it wide as opposed to narrowly, especially on this corner because you can get slapped over it. But this is another one. Say that you got forced this way, and then you're just mind gaming. This is another way that you can connect that to this window over here and get some more value off of it. Now, the cool thing is, if the killer did push you back this way, this because of that window, you can get extra value off of it. The killer will respect this pallet, then you just jump the window. And then you can make it to this pallet, right? And then maybe you can do it again, using that pallet just to mind game. And then maybe drop this pallet if you're desperate or you're on death hook, because that is a good way that you can use this window. This window just gets no value unless it's the west. If it's on the west side, this window is really not bad at all. Because you can just run. Like I said, the killer will break that. This is not a pallet the killer won't won't break. But that's just a really good pallet to get them to respect to get the jump to go to this pallet to get the respect to come back to this window and then use that pallet. 
or come back to this way and then use this. Read this pallet to get to this pallet here, which is not always here. You can't count on this pallet being here, but then you can read that. And then same thing, right? If you're doing a desk that this way. If you jump this way, you're not going to get any of the value, but then that brings you back to this pallet as well. But utilizing this big backspace here is how you want to loop that window. Ideally, like I was saying, running it this way. Not throwing this pallet, right? And then running this way. Because I see a lot of people saying that that window is useless, and it's useless on East RPD. West RPD, it can be very useful, specifically when all the other pallets are gone. That was unlucky. Saw it coming the second I heard this fucking thing, I couldn't turn around either. Because I didn't make, that, make it back to main. God damn, it was so close. This is pretty detailed. Go forth and juice, as one might say. He's really trying to cut me off that way. Did I get in his head looping the window the way I was looping it? That's hilarious. Nice, somehow I avoided it. I'm sure he's thrilled. I wouldn't even fly today. That's a funny thing, now that I'm thinking about it. No, he is the fucking thing. Which side is this? Oh, it is the right side, that's hilarious. Greet it. Yep, greet it. Please chase me still. Jump the window. Jump the window. You can get a hit here though. I don't know what. He knows my shenanigans. I won't get away with them much longer. Can you chase me please? Let's go try to get value on this fucking thing against the nemesis. I'm sure this will go well. Oh my god, it did go well. That's hilarious. Oh god, she's right here too. I'm... I got the value, that's hilarious. You do not want to be running this window this way. You can run this window, but not this way. Ready. I'm excited to try this new loop. Is it the whole most OP loop in the game? Damn it. Damn it. Oh god, zombie. Yeah. I'm running this the wrong way. It worked though.
So this pallet right here is just another save pallet if you're doing the main loop. In my opinion, main loop is much easier to incorporate onto the west side than the east side, but the east side rooftop is one of the strongest areas on the map, so that's why it's strong to incorporate it. This one is an unsafe pallet as well, but at least you can see through the shelves, so it's hard for the killer to mine game. Loop it as tight as possible. Expect double backs here, but expect if the killer doubles back, then you just run around this way, and then you can even run up the stairs if you want. Right? A lot of times there'll be a pallet... Well, there's going to be a pallet here, right? And sometimes you'll get a pallet here. We do right here. Most of the time you'll get this pallet here. But that's just something you can do if you're mind gaming that. Mind game it and then run up the stairs, right? Coming this way. Here, Specs goes around. Run right up the stairs. Looping as tight as possible at all times, once again. Right? And then you have your choice of either running the long pallet or running to the god pallet here. So this is another greed pallet, pretty much identical to the one in the other room, except for this one is much, much, much more dangerous most of the time. You can get it against the wall, but don't count on it. This is another pallet where you just never want to throw it because the killers will always loop it. Don't loop this side. The killer might try to push you that way, but you never want to do that. You always want to be looping this side. You might get some extra loops because the chairs make it a bit jagged, so it's harder for the killer to loop tight than it is survivor. But this is another one that you get some hilarious whiffs on by just not throwing the pallet down. One of my favorite pallets on this map as well. Yeah, it kind of worked. <laughs> okay. Got him. Strike one. Strike two. Strike three, you're out, sir. Because this one, two, three. Four strike, five strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Holy shit, dude. We're almost into the whole nother inning. All right, good job. Now this god pallet as well, be careful, because the killer can go back this way, and then you're going to be stuck doing this sh shenanigans, which is harder for the killer to get you, but it's still... Once again, if they have a bad connection or you have a bad connection, they moonwalk here and then slap, you might get hit anyway. So you got to be careful. This is one of those ones where listening to the terror radius actually helps a little bit. If the killer does not break the pallet, most killers will break the pallet. But that is another thing to be aware of, is you can greed the pallet, right? If you if you greeted it and then the killer goes, uh, respects a little bit, and then you can just run it in circles. Because a lot of people forget about that and just think it's one big god pallet. But no, you can, you can still r run it normally, like a normal pallet. Right, you just gotta be careful because areas like this particularly, it's hard to get both th thresholds in your view and the killer could mine game and you just get hit. Let's go over another pallet that I see people using incorrectly a lot of times. So you can either get this pallet here, or you can get this pallet here. If you get this pallet here, then it's pretty much the exact same that you'd want to run it. Do not try to connect this window into that pallet, because then you're just going to end up doing this whole shenanigans again, which is a very unsafe mind game you do not want to be involved in. Now I understand that you can come here, but this is a very unsafe side of the pallets. I don't think it's worth incorporating that anyway. Most of the time, this is just an office for the boon to be at. But... I suppose if you're in that situation where the killer was going to get a hit and it could save you, then then go ahead and throw it. But most times, it's another pallet you just want to greet over and over because for some reason, the killer respect it because this side is very unsafe. Oh god, that was so lucky. That was pretty much fooked. 
God damn. Interesting. What? Dude. That is such horse shit. <laughs> now this pallet right here is a way better pallet than people realize. Because this pallet you can use in the hallway using your checkpoints. Same as before. Make sure you're getting your checkpoints. But you can incorporate it into the hallway going as tight as possible. And for some reason that's another pallet that killers don't like to break when you throw it down. Because they just go around they think you're going to run out. But if you just keep looping it from the outside... You can get extra jumps because it is long enough for the killer to have to waste some time going after you. Just jumping this over and over. So I really enjoy getting that pallet as opposed to the other one in the middle of the room. Even though this one looks worse. People think it's worse because they're like, oh, just loop this part here as opposed to both. No, I like this pallet a lot more because you can incorporate it with the hallway. Haha, <laughs> just laugh. That was great. No. Uh, third one want, runs up to you and just wants the game over. And then you can't find the last one to give hatch to you. No, Ed. Darn. I want to see. No. Dang. Let's go. Let's run this fucking... Yay, we got the good pellet. I'm gonna say, like, why would you do it there? It's not what I meant to do, but I guess it works. That leads us to this last area. There is pretty much nothing over here. There's usually gonna be a gen in this room, the top of the showers, and there's a drop down here. But using the drop down is not gonna help you much unless you have balance landing, because there's nothing gonna be close enough to you, and the killer's just gonna hit you. So that is literally just a, an area to have a generator at.
In this outdoor area, you can either get this pallet right here. I think that pallet is more useful, or you can get the pallet right here. This pallet sucks against all the projectile killers, but can save you sometimes if you're in a pickle running from that area, right? The bad pallet, and you're coming up this way. The killer didn't know where you went, and then you can get value out of this one. But a lot of times you're in a scenario against a projectile killer, and then this pallet's one of the worst ones in the entire map. This one right here is not the most mind gameable, but you definitely can be aware that you can see also little bits through the tree. So if you have a killer that's looking, you got to be staring at the tree as well, like little bits. Like you can see right there. It's like right up. Let me see if I can point to it. Right where my finger is, you can see through that tree. So that gives you, as like as I look up, you can see little bits that give you help on the mind game. So you can stand right here and have a little bit more reaction time. This pillar right here is very useful because a lot of times if you're running down these stairs and away from the killer then this having this pallet right here is much more helpful same with this area over here if you're greeting that pallet and you just keep getting pushed this way right so you're just keep getting pushed this way you're getting run from the killer and you're here right to get away from this pallet if you actually got the stun there's not many safe things and the killer can walk around so having this pallet here really benefits that unsafe pallet over there also having that pallet there is extreme this pallet right here this pallet right here I was talking about earlier earlier is a lot better when you have this right here because you can get other places with it. Because if that window's not there and you and the pallet is even thrown in the first place, the killer you're kind of trapped in this corner here. When the pallet's here, you can actually run around this way. And if the killer doubles back, so you can still greet it and come around this way, right? And then come around here, be greeting this pallet. And then if the killer's doing that, come around here and then you can get a safer pallet stun right here. So this pallet is good, but only if you're playing on the west side. If you're playing on the east side, this pallet does not get much use whatsoever. In fact, you'll corner yourself even throwing it or trying to loop it. No pallet here. What the fuck? There's always a pallet there. Not anywhere near me. <laughs> that should not have hit him at all. Be the first person to admit that. He's way too far away to get hit by that pal. <laughs> that feels so bad. So all in all, RPD, a lot of people want to say is a killer-sided map, and a lot of killers want to say is a survivor-sided map, but it's really what you do with your generators. Once you know where to run, you're on a time limit with which pallets are there and which pallets are going to be gone. There's not an insane amount of crazy good windows that you can vault over and over either to compensate for that. Just a decently strong window here, and this window connects to every other pallet seemingly on this entire side and in the main loop. So what you really want to do is play it that way save your pallets they're going to get whittled down and as long as you do the right generator in the middle here and the middle there and split your gens then it's fine do not do the generator especially on the east side if you have the east rpd don't do the generator on that rooftop and don't do the generator on the outside never do the generator on the outside to last anyway but a lot of times on the east side people will get both of those generators done and now the killer literally only has to guard half of the map a lot of people say east rpd is one of the most killer sided maps in the game i disagree i only think it's has a very high kill rate just because survivors tend to do that out generator and that roof generator and then the killer only has to do guard the middle part of the map so essentially they're not even going to the east of rpd they're just doing common rpd which cuts the map essentially in half they used to happen on hawkins a lot as well people would do the wrong generators and everyone wondered why it was such a high kill rate and it's because people would do the two upstairs generator and then the killer never had to go up there so if you get east rpd if you're going to do that generator and that generator you're going to lose the match you have to do these middle generators first, which I highly encourage anyway, because you're standing in one of the strongest loops on the entire map doing these generators. So you can see the killer coming from pretty much anywhere, and even if you didn't get a huge head start, you're still on the right loop anyway to start looping what we were talking about earlier. So this is one of those maps where I had 80 games highlighted for this guide, and up until about 50 of those games, I didn't realize that I literally was only looping the common areas because I wanted to stay in these areas to get these gens done and I thought it was a good idea like especially for the guides I was like well good yeah, then you have stuff to count on no matter which RPD it was but then I had to make sure I got some value out of the other areas that are also strong 
But literally, if you're playing RPD right and doing the right gens, you could literally play this map for months, never going to the west side, never going to the east side, only playing the exact same map as you know it, having it never change depending on which map it is. So knowing that, I think, will help loads, especially with trying to get the Outbreak Breakout achievement since you have to open the door and leave on this map. But once you know that the common strong loop is on both sides and you can have exactly what to get to and how to gain little bits of distance like this window already being far away from the killer and then gaining the distance on this window little things like that is going to waste so much of the killer's time and as long as you get the right generators done this is a very 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 strong map for survivors there's very few killers that are excited to see this map nemesis loves this map but he is one of the very few killers that loves this map nurse hates this map and a lot of the other killers just succumb to holding forward with style because you're holding forward to get to an end point, which is one of those pallets we were talking about. That's why you keep gaining the distance, jumping that window over and over until the killer catch up and whichever pallet you want to throw, throw the least important pallet first and then work your way down, especially once you're on death hook. Because a lot of those pallets aren't even mind gameable and a lot of them you can get extra value by mind gaming them when you're not on death hook before you throw them and being able to continue looping that main loop. Ha 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 ha! Escalators! <laughs> Pre drop this because I am basically solo now. Damn, I was hoping I'd make that. I probably will still make this, right? Yeah. This is an interesting setup. Mm, yes! Oh shit, he is coming this way. If they would crawl up the fucking stairs. Boo. <laughs> I'll give you one last chance to crawl up these. No. Oops, I went too wide. My pathing's off, I am not warm. This is Sag. Go the weird way. I had to turn and go a different way. So he would probably guess wrong on which way I went. Yes! Oh no! Oh no! I'm a fucking dumbass and I try to loop too tight. Mm, yes! We got the jukes though. Oh yes! Oh my god. No! <laughs> 
Oh, it's right there! Yes! Woo! Dang. <laughs> I wasn't even close. <laughs> You're not gonna game that fool. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Fine, I'll run down here. No, I tried to juke it, and I got caught on the fucking wall. I kind of suck. Oh, shit. Escalators! Disappear. Ah! No. <laughs> that guy whipped. <laughs> he whipped again. <laughs> God damn, that was funny. Let's go this way. Damn. Didn't get him a third time. <laughs> Kai! What's up, Kai? Shit. Uh, I'm going down. That was a good throw. I can't make it to the window. <laughs> oh my god. Not like this. <laughs> Oh my god. This fucking map just gets me giddy. No! <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> my god, this loop is hilarious. It should not even be this good. It's not even really good, and for some reason it is. Damn it. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this clown is hilarious. Back up the escalators. Back through the fucking jump. <laughs> he missed. And you get another one, I think. No, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> that was lucky. I gotta get away. Oh my god. There's nowhere to go. I'm gonna get put right in the basement. Oh. 
Damn it. This is bad. Please don't go back this way. No! Side. She'll never expect it. If she doesn't, fucked. Yay! <laughs> Shit, I should have gone through the bathrooms. Damn it. <laughs> I was like, maybe she'll get faked out enough by the scratch marks. No. You get me? Ah! Oh! I don't know what the fuck happened there, but that was lucky as fuck. Hmm. He was bamboozler, right? Is that not what he's doing? Ah. Damn. Alright, now let's run the escalators. Escalators! Wait! Yes! Sorry, I was trying to say it like Patrick and then I realized that I can heal. No, I can't. The squares! <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. No! Damn. Wait, all I Greed the palate, greed the palate, greed the palate, greed the palate. Swing. Yeah, she went wide though. I'm on death hook. I'm throwing that. She left me. What the fuck? Oh. The Sclairs! Should've ran that way, but... Where else am I gonna go? Bad luck. Read it. Haha. <laughs> I think I make this though. No. Uh oh. 
Now this is bad. Hmm. I think it's a locker room, right? I think I make a locker room. Oh fuck, let's just go this way. I forgot we had like this door open for some reason, or like this side open. looks way bigger than the other one. I probably should throw this this time, but I'm not going to. Just to be a dick. Go this way. Oh my god. Do I make this now because they missed that? Dang. What? Dude, that's some horse shit. That should have happened the first time. Escalators! Haha! <laughs> Escalators always finds a way. <laughs> that was gonna get hit through that wall. This pr previous has to have gone away, right? It didn't. How much can you put down? He's a menace. Which way is he going down? There he is. I knew he was coming down away. I just couldn't remember which staircase there was. And <laughs> try to get some value out of this room. My goodness. We got value out of the room. <laughs> That's funny.
No. Yay. I make it. Yes! We got him. No, I have a V tag didn't work. Oh! Of course. Not me getting hit. Oh, fucking A. I've been throwing. Oh my god, I'm extra throwing. So are you, though. I don't know where I'm going. Are they double back? They did, yeah! Hit him with the crouch juke. <laughs> Fuck, there's nothing up here. Cut corners as much as I can. Damn. Not throwing it down. It's too valuable. I could have there though. So with that being said, it's time to go get a bunch of escapes on RPD. Now that you know about the escalators, it's time to scream, ESCALATORS! Running up and down, wasting all of the killer's time, enjoying every game you play on this map, and then getting Outbreak Breakout before you can even think about stressing over it.